Verse 6 is very important for us to pay attention to. Verse 6 describes God's desire. He says, for I, and this is God, for I delight in loyalty rather than sacrifice, in the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. So let us break this down a little bit. Now, God delights, hefets, uh, take pleasure, right? Take pleasure. And what is God pleased with? God is pleased with chesed. Now, this is not just loyalty, it's loving kindness. Kindness to his people. So, God wanted them to treat each other well. And so, the, the Levitical uh, declaration to love your neighbor as you would yourself was completely forgotten. They had Hamas instead, violence and injustice. And so God says, I prefer chesed. I don't want sacrifice. I want the knowledge of God. I don't want burnt offering. So let me break this down. You find that this is uh, really an A and a B. See, God wants loyalty or kindness is equated to knowledge of God. Right? Sacrifice is equated to burnt offering. Now, I would suggest that we read Psalms 51 verses 16 to 17 as well. And you see what David expresses that. And that would give you a much better feel of that. Um, in, in Psalm 51, uh, in verse 16 and 17, it reads this way. David pens the, these words. He says, For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. Right? That's verse 16. And in verse 17, it says this, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. So it is important to read this in the same light. Sacrifice and burnt offerings has to do with the temple rituals. The temple rituals is God's rules to approach God. Right? To approach God. And they bring uh, depending on the uh, offenses, depending on whether it's free will, depending on whether it is rich or poor, depending on the event, they all have a sacrifice to kill an animal. They will all have burnt offerings where they put it on the altar and uh, burn it and let the fat aroma rise up. Now, all of these has to do with Things concerning sin offering, uh, trespass offering, right? Uh, shalom uh, or shalem offering, peace offering. Uh, you, you would have this as atonement. And so what is God saying here? It appears that in Hosea chapter 6 verse 6 says, God says, I really don't care about all your sacrifices that you want to burn and kill and offer to me. Why? Now, yesterday I had expressed this concept. When a person has gone after other gods and he comes back and make offering to Jehovah God, it's like a, 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 a woman who has gone after other men and then comes back and treats his hus her husband like the one and only. And, and, 
and and buying gifts and uh, chocolates and uh, whatever has no meaning. And it could be the reverse, like the man has done that against the wife. So in a particular relationship where you're supposed to only have one God before you, and God says you should have no other gods before me, Israel has gone away and went after other gods and then came back and treated uh, Jehovah God as the only one. And God says, I don't want any of those. Why? Because all those rituals will be meaningless when your heart is not with me, when your choices you make has nothing to do with God, when the actions that you take is going away from God, then all the ritual acts, I don't want. I don't want. I will take pleasure. I prefer chesed, that you treat each other well and with kindness, with faithfulness. And that is equivalent to the knowledge of God. My people is silence for lack of knowledge and lack of knowledge of the law of God, of God himself. And if you know God, the people will practice loyalty. As you can see, know God will practice uh, kindness. So kindness is a display of God, God's character. And that is what Hosea 6.6 is all about. Hosea 6.6 6 says there is no atonement needed because there's nothing to do with his rules with regards to approaching God in the temple. As a nation, they have failed God. It is an avon. It is a rebellion. Right? And, and God says, I want you to correct yourself, come after me, seek the knowledge of God, and then may God help them walk and live before him again.